nice to see you again. Same, yeah. We are very glad uh, to have you here in my university. Uh, perhaps, uh, but most of all, it was the first visit uh, to this mountain at Brussels. So um, I'd like to introduce about my mountain and the founders mountain, Kukai. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he was born in Chicago area, as the son of Robert Scott, in uh, 774, and was a genius in his own days. So uh, his family uh, wanted to be a member of the bureaucrat of state. So uh, he was sent to Kyoto to so study in the university. In those days, uh, such students must study under the traditional Confucian curriculum. But the young cook and concern was more in the misery and suffering of fellow people. Mm. So at last, he abandoned learning in the university and threw himself among the members of the wandering assistants. Uh, that very effective family so astonished. And I, but uh, he did not change his choice and kept practice all through the mountains, the rivers, and the uh, the shore to make my meditation. One day, he had experienced one magical encounter with a transcendent view. But in the in Japan, nobody could author the idea. It was uh, at last uh, at the end of the practice. He uh, expressed that <coughs> uh, the chant the voice, um, chant the mantra, uh, his voice was echoed oh. all through the bodies, and this universe is filled with the voice. And also, the morning star increased its brightness, and he was covered with this brightness. In those in, Ch in Japan, nobody could alter it with Christianity. So you know, he decided China uh, to seek a true master to grow up there. He lived in China, a uh, new Buddhist sect, heavy world of India, and heavy words in all the nations. This is called esoteric teaching, tantric tradition in Buddhism. Yes. And, and the highest master of the teaching <coughs> taught us that uh, the strange and transcendent being who could guy had one external encounter is the cosmic Buddha, whose Sanskrit name is Maha Vairochara Buddha. Okay. <coughs> then uh, Kuka learned the Sanskrit from the Indian priest. And also uh Kuka brought this uh, Tantric tradition from China to Japan. And he started with his new uh, denomination mm -hmm. and named this Shingon, Shin Tzu, one word. True word is the meaning of his new denomination. Because he knew three types that this universe is filled with the world. <clears throat> then also, uh, he brought back the Sanskrit. Mm -hmm. the, uh, his disciples must study. Uh, under the new Sanskrit text that was uh, uh, old Sanskrit that was named uh, Siddhamatrika style. So uh, we kept, uh, our disciples kept uh, this uh, Sanskrit style to Siddhamatrika style till now. And uh, done this uh, old Sanskrit and uh, pronounce this uh, Sanskrit in all the way. Okay. Which are spoken in 1200 before in India. Mm -hmm. For example, <coughs> uh, we uh, usually can chant uh, one uh, familiar mantra, uh, mantra, uh, mantra that is uh, Om Amogha Vairochana Mahamudra Mani Padma Jubara Prabhupada Kun. This is name. <laughs> the tantra of writers. This way, till now, mm, we use this old Sanskrit in all pronunciation. Mm -hmm. And also, still now, uh, Indian deities uh, are very familiar 
in Japanese, uh, in Singapore, for example, Surya, Chandra, Ritri, uh, Bayu, and Adri. Okay. And these uh, Indian deities are also form, uh, common among Japanese, Shingon priests. So, in this way, Buddhism uh, was born in India and brought to China. And so much influence and change on the Chinese side. But when Kukai visited uh, China, uh, not so many years uh, has passed after the uh, coming to uh, uh, China of the ethnic teaching. So this teaching was not so much change on the Chinese way. So uh, in Japan, uh, most deeply influenced uh, Indian culture is kept in this mountain. Okay. Uh, soon later, <laughs> uh, he will guide you to a big cemetery. <clears throat> yes. This will be uh, there is a big cave underground at the Eastern Mountain. And the two guys have been used to give another meditation in that some cave to arrive. And what's about some point? Perhaps it must be strange or incredible for you. That one who lived almost 1,000 times before kept meditation inside of the world since then. Then, the uh, reason why such a workshop and answer the chance to survive in such a country Japan. Just through today, many people can explain in town that it's like, mainly in the crisis of the intervention. Uh, Kukai has been used to sense how to work, not only the minimum of Kukai. But also to the young people to make aware that you were watched by Kukai. So, in repeating Christ to chosen by Kukai, make this just a super rational. So, all the way to Japan, many, many people wanted them after the death, near the cave of Kukai's dating area. So, they have been sent out of the body after death by the kingdom of Hungary. They have been made peace, tears, and many had actually finished and that buried them to build some tomb over there. Okay. Isn't that the Japanese origin? Our spirit after this must appear on the things and can in the entire repose as the guardianship of cook and making power. In this way, one big cemetery way in this own project. <laughs> Please try to build it after this university. Then